Hi everyone, and today I'm going to do my July favourites. The last favourites video I did, and I've only done one before, which was my February favourites, which was like months ago now, like it's crazy, but it feels like two weeks ago. Um, when I did it, ignore my chest there, like this part, because it's really patchy, because I had a spray tan on Friday, and now it's like, you know, coming off, and yeah, so I've got my kimono, so I can just wrap up and it's really hot so I thought I'd wear some at light but I've got quite a few things I've been writing things on my laptop for a while now like you know what I've been enjoying what I like and I've got a good collection and I'm ready to start are you ready to listen and watch with your Google? So you know how in my last video I did the categories I'm going to do that again and the first one I'm going to do is fashion and if you watch my videos or you're a friend of mine or family member <laughs> that you would have seen me wear this top so much I've actually you know I've done um, like an outfit of the day using this top it's very crumpled at the moment because it's been in my suitcase and it crumpled a lot well not my suitcase just this bag that took away with me and yeah but basically it's a long sleeve but I like roll it up check back on my outfit of the day video uh, I think it's that like spring outfit of the day and I roll it up like that and then it has buttons going down and it's blue and white striped and I love it it's from Primark probably about £10 I would say I got it over like in a big like got two sizes up so it was like more like you know oversized I really like it I want to go get back and get more there's a red and white one to love and I'm always wearing it with my black jeans which I featured in my last feature video in April no February <laughs> so I didn't think I'd feature them again but yeah I always wear this with my black jeans the next fashion item are these glasses yeah these are also from Primark and I really like them because I feel like they got that like sharpness and edginess to um, an outfit. I put them on for you and I've styled them. <sighs> um, yeah, they're just I don't know the nice. I like how it's the black frame here, but then there's it's just no frame hair sort of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, the black, simple but I like them. And they were probably so cheap, like. Two pound, probably something like that. Two three pound, and yeah, simple. So they go with everything, black and silver. I love it. And um, another fashion favorite of mine is this bag, which I love so much. It's I actually showed this in my mini April haul, and it's from La Moda. And first, let me just show you the little feature. Not the feature. It has a little metal thingy. There, yeah, nice. And it has straw strings to like close it and yeah it has your straps which you can adjust you know depending on how you want it I've got a little you know I want to hang, hang it on my peg do I have a peg oh I do I have pegs there yeah and I really like this so much it's small but it gets a lot in like this so there's a lot of stuff in there and it's so cute it's so soft always 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 use this bag never use any little bag now I'm always using that one well unless it don't go with the outfit but it goes with a lot of outfits being pink I don't know, it just does. Love it. Yeah. The last fashion item is pinafores. And I've got one to show you here. And this one is from ASOS. And I got it in December time, I think. I think it was in, like, you know, the Christmas sales. January sales, sort of thing. And um, it's like this. And it's so nice. It's, like, denim. And it's got, like, dark denim and then light. And it's, like, different patches. And it's just so, so, so pretty. And at the end, at the, like the bottom of the skirt, has like the uh, frayed bit, which adds a good detailing. And I've just been loving wearing pinafore so much. I went to uh, Wales this weekend, and the majority of the time, I was either wearing my light denim pinafore or my black suede pinafore. And they're just both so nice. and. Um, I like to wear them because I've got had my spray tan. I wore them with like frilly socks and just like dolly shoes sort of thing. 
And yeah, very, very, very cute. Been loving it. Now I'm gonna go on to makeup and like skincare and stuff like that. And the first thing is skincare, and I love this. This is my second one I bought now. And it's Superdrug Owens Natural Radiant Reviewing Renewing <laughs> Night Cream. And it comes in this box and it's in this little pot that you get like the product's amazing, like it's right to the top. I've used this just this tub once. Um but I had here's my old other tub. Here's my old tub. I actually took the thing off, but yeah, it's completely empty like can't get any left. And it's so good. And when I ran out of this I bought this about two weeks later. You could tell after not using this when I didn't have any, like my skin was so bad and it, it went really dry and then I started using this again and straight away my face felt amazing and it's super drug owned so it means that um, cruelty free, you know, it wasn't tested on animals which is amazing, that's what I like to hear. Suitable for vegetarians and vegans, super drug is against animal testing made in the UK. Um, Absolutely amazing, love this product so much, we'll always continue buying it and I really recommend it. It's about £5 but when my mum got me, she it was like a buy one get one free sort of thing so I got this and then the cleansing cloth, pot cloth thing which is also amazing but I've only used it once so I'm not going to put my favourites because, you know, yeah. I'm going to go into makeup now and I only actually have two things and these are them. I'm going to talk about this one first, this is the Revolution Makeup, Revolution London. Ultra Scoop and Contour Kit in Ultra Fair C01 and it's like this, really pretty and it has a bronzer, a highlighter and a blusher. This blush is like my, you know, the type of blush I always wear. It's like a really natural, just a dusky pink with that shimmer. We've got the highlighter and the bronzer. Really like the bronzer, really like the highlighter, really like the blusher. Just really, really pigmented. Let me see if I can show you. No, I'm not sure if you can see that just because of my camera. Did really nice, it's amazing. And that and Revolution is also uh, cruelty free, which is amazing. Well, I'm, I'm sure it is. I'm not not percent sure. And the last one is a NYX soft matte lip cream, and this is in the shade SMLC19, and it's Canis Canis. Like that, and it's like it's like a pinky nude, black nude, and a little bit pink, like a dusky pink nude, and it smells really nice as well. It smells like vanilla, and I really like it. I got it on right now. Always, always, always wearing this. Like this shade is like my shade. Like it is my shade. So I buy it like. I had like a lipstick that I used to always wear now got in like a similar colour but in a matte lip cream. cream. The next thing that links in with that is like hair care and it's this dry shampoo from Herbal Essences and I've got two because I bought one the other day in Superdrug because it was like half price summer and it's a uplifted volume, lightweight, no rinsing required, citrus fragrance, first day clean feel and it's so good like where was it? Yeah, in Wales. Um, oh, I couldn't bother. It was like really late at night. I couldn't bother to have a shower. In the morning, it was quite grisly. And I just whacked that lid off. And it was amazing. I really, really recommend this. It do not leave that like white. Um, it leaves all that white marks. And you have to like. Ugh. I just go Volume. Fresh. Love it. Really, really recommend that and good size bottles as well. Now I'm going to go into YouTubers and I've got a few YouTubers that I wrote down on my laptop. Ah, the first YouTuber that I've been loving so, 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 so much when I found out about him through Gabby recommended him on her, like one of her favourite videos. I literally watched all his videos in one day. It's the YouTube channel is called This Kid Needs Medicine. And it's about a guy called Kevin, and he films majority of his videos with his grandma Lil, and 
like a lot of them are them sat in the car and at first for like the first how many I don't know how long like a year two years something like that and um, she didn't know that he was filming and then he like told her and now they're just film videos of them talking like doing like PR box openings and uh, and then he sometimes does videos by himself and they're just amazing he's hilarious he's literally like he's just funny and like I feel like we have the same type of I can't think of the word so I'm giving up but you know what I mean? I hope you do because I do. I do. <laughs> I guess I don't. Um, you know, we just the same like type of like jokes. Yeah. Anyway, moving on from that. Second YouTuber that I've been loving, which I've been wa watching for years, is Alfie Day's Pointless Blog. But all have probably heard of him. Um, yeah, just I've been loving his vlogs at the moment. Like every day, I watch them. Like I have to. Like them a lot. And thirdly, Casey Neistat, which I've started watching probably for like a month now, something like that. And I've like I've heard of him for so long, but I never like thought to check out his videos. And then I did, and I'm so glad I did because his videos are just so like cool and like his editing is just sick and yeah, just amazing. Recommend. And then the fourth YouTuber is well, he actually posts majority like most of his videos on Facebook but he does post videos on YouTube as well and his name is Lewis Hancocks but he's known as Mr Loser and oh my god so this video is like he dresses up as um British mom and likes videos dressing up as like his girlfriend and then his friend dresses up as a guy and this is so funny my favourite is definitely um the shopping one when they go to is it Asda? Yeah, Asda. That is hilarious. And I'm always every time he uploads, I tag my mum so she'll watch it. And it's just so what's the word? What's the word? The videos are so relatable, like really like I'm just like, oh my god, that always happens and sometimes my mum will say something I'm like that was in the video, like it's just it's that relatable. Like my mum does so many things that Lewis shows in his videos of his British mum doing and yeah yeah just highly recommend and the last one is someone that I only found recently actually and he's called Yusuf but he's known on YouTube as Fusey Fusey Tube and I watch well I watch his vlogs but then I've been watching his like a few of his main channel videos you know that like pop up and I'm like oh watch that one and oh watch that one yeah it's a become like a thing, I'm like, oh, you know, when you're like in bed, you're like, I should go to sleep, but oh, there's another one, oh, there's another one. Yeah, very addictive, but really, like, he's like, he's just like, I don't know, I like him. Third YouTubers this month, uh, have fun watching them all, because I really, really, really recommend these people, really recommend it. I'll leave all their links below, uh, so you can find them easily. The next category I'm going on to is music. And uh, this one, I don't know, I'm not, when I was, when I was, when I went on my laptop, because I knew I was going to film this today, I actually hadn't wrote anything for music, and I was like, there's nothing that, like, new that's come out that I'm like, yeah. No. So I'm, I'm just going to go with something more general, which is Spotify, and where's my phone? So on Spotify, there's, Spotify? No. Yeah, Spotify, that's how I said word one said it. Um, I have like a few playlists that I like. One of them is from Gabriella Gabby Velvet Ghost, and it's called, the playlist is my favorite songs. I also like Sassy Andrea is sassy. I really like that one. It's just like yeah, hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah. Don't mess with me. I also like Fuck You by Andrea. That's a good one. It's just so like. I don't care. Powerful Bops by La Anthony. There are a few. I'll just like three people I would suggest following is La Anthony, Gabriella and Andrea Rossett because they do some good playlists. The next category is film slash programs and because it's the summer holidays right now I've had a lot of time to watching a lot of stuff. Hence why I've been suggesting a lot of YouTubers. The first one I'm suggesting is a programme 
on Netflix called Orphan Black and it started off really well and it, it's like sort of like a roller coaster, not like a roller it's like, yeah, a roller coaster, go on. It has its ups and downs and at the moment, a bit of a down, it's too scientific for me but when it's like high it's good. When it's just like all the clones, to, yeah, when it's all the clones together it's good but when like random people start coming in and and it gets all scientific, so it's a bit rubbish, but I guess if you really like science stuff and you understand it, you're a bit clever, then you'll enjoy it. But I still enjoy it when it's all like, really like intense and stuff, that's good. But I'm still going to add it my favourites because it is really good. It is a really good TV programme, TV show, Netflix programme. I recommend it. The next one, which has ended a few weeks ago, which I'm very sad, was Love Island and... I came in a bit late and in one of my vlogs I did upload, yes, sometimes I don't upload them, sorry, um, I was talking about it and I kept getting all the names confused but I soon learned everyone's names and I soon became addicted to it and now my heart's broken. I'm so happy that Nathan and Clara won, um, they are like a really really cute couple but then I, I liked or the final contestants, obviously, it was so obvious that Adam and Katie weren't going to stay together. It was just like a, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. But uh, all the rest, I feel like, you know, Olivia and Alex, Scott and Katie, and Nathan and Cara, I think they will stay together. Hopefully, anyway, I hope. Fingers crossed. And the next one I am going to talk about is Hollyoaks, and I tweeted a while ago when Trevor died. I was like, I never watching this again oh my god I can't believe the girl like it was my favourite person on Hollyoaks and then I feel like no one was bothered except from Grace that he died and I loved what's his name Trevor <laughs> I was thinking of someone right yeah um, and I realised because at the moment Robin Fox is in Hollyoaks and I realised I like the bad guys and I like the tough guys yeah because I really like Robin Fox but then at the same time I really like Darren and Nancy, which I never liked Nancy, but at the moment I like Nancy because she's taking control. Maxine's been a bit like, Nyeh. but Nancy's just like, hey, 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 get out of my house, which I like. So I'm liking Nancy at the moment. I never liked Nancy, but at the moment I am. So, well done, Nancy. You're staying strong for the women. And the last one, which at the moment I'm just like watching, trying to watch them all. I'm still on season one. I'm like season one, episode 17, 18, and it is Friends. I just want to watch them all. I love Friends so much. And yeah, so I'm just watching a few a day and it's amazing. I love Friends. It's so, 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 so good. Yeah, I highly, highly recommend it. I'm sure everyone's seen it, heard of it. Then if you heard of it but not seen it, then I recommend it. Now I'm going on to other and just like four or five things. The first thing is this camera. And I just love cameras in general at the moment. I decided that I just want to collect cameras. Oh. And this is a Polaroid camera and, yeah, it's pink and I just love it so much. I love how it's instant, you know, but really, really good camera. Except from the only thing is it's really expensive, like the the film, and when you take one photo, you just want to take that 20. The next favourite of mine is this, and I got this from like one of them home show things. Oh. And what it is, it's a little fan, if you can't tell, you know, it goes like that. What you do, get your phone, get this, go like that, and you plug it in, and you have a fan. And I've seen videos where it's like, bought a fan, so you can take selfies, and your hair's blowing. Um, but that's quite funny. But the only thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm scared when I take it out, because I feel like I'm going to hit my uh hit my like fingers on it and sometimes I have hit my hand on it when I'm taking it out and ow but yeah and it's pink and yeah handy handy dandy handy dandy dand dand <laughs> and the next thing I'm going to be talking about are flowers these by the way favourite flowers just just I tell everyone basically oh and these are my second favourite flowers roses and they smell so 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 fresh got a little bush in the back here. Anyway, so basically, I love flowers. I love plants, but I love flowers. And I like having them in my bedroom, because I feel like they just give life to the room. 
and they smell nice, they look pretty, especially when the fake flowers are in there. This rose is gorgeous though, isn't it? Oh god. Look at it. That is gorgeous. I really like these as well. I wanted some like that from the hair, you know, that sort of like thing spread out, but I didn't find one. So it didn't come true. My dreams should never come true. That's deep. I uh, really like yellow, draw that. But anyway, yeah, so basically, I just like flowers. My mum gets me flowers sometimes, you know. And she's treating me. She gets me flowers from my room. But my nana got me some flowers when it was you near know, prom time. But I don't think they ever came to my room. I think they stayed in the other room. But uh, yeah, they were roses. Thanks, yeah. nana. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, mum, for all my flowers. I appreciate it. I actually really do like, I love flowers. And the last thing I'm going to be talking about today, I actually feel like I've been talking for so long now. Like really long. My, my iPad's on less than 10%, so I've got to be quick. And it is, well, this. This is the wrapper, but I wanted to show you some of it. And it's pipe rings. I love pipe rings. They're vegan as well, which is amazing. Uh, I'm not vegan, but I like knowing when I eat vegan food. Makes me feel good. Um, so tasty. I think I have a problem with pack rings, but I'm just going to embrace it because I'm doing no harm to anyone, am I? No. No, no, no. So, yeah. Mm, nice. I couldn't actually smell it. I don't know why I did that. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I rambled on for too long and talked too fast. I feel like I did, but I had to, like, rush it because iPad ruined that battery. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, 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 very soon. Goodbye. Jay's on my feet. Jay's on my feet. Soak it like me. Jay's on my feet.